hi guys welcome back to my channel and make sure you share this video so that way we can get the word out more and just spread awareness okay let's just get into the stories pulmonary embolism i live in australia but this was my experience in the uk 15 years ago it's not directly cup gear related but i think it's relevant to what we're seeing now my seven my 70 year old dad collapsed in the street and was taken to the hospital he was diagnosed with uh, rhymes with flood, rhymes with clot or blot. <laughs> All right, so um, diagnosed with that in his lower leg, below behind his knee. The consultant told us that he would monitor it because, his words, it generally takes a year for these blots uh, to reach the lungs. Um, I don't necessarily agree with that. Um, uh, practically a year to the day after my dad died from a pulmonary embolism, I don't wish to spread any more fear to those brave souls who post on here being coursed. You have my total sympathy and understanding. Rather, I just wanted to point out that you mustn't ignore any swelling or pressure on the back of your legs. It can be treated. Don't let them um, FOB you off if you are concerned much love to you all all right so i guess if you have any smelling or pressure behind your legs don't ignore it get it checked out it can be treated all right this person says my mother revealed she ate the donut two of them starting january i'm devastated now <clears throat> she's now having bizarre lung uh, spasms causing shortness of breath o2 readings are fine is this potentially a system of a uh, in the lungs it possibly could be i don't know i'm not a doctor all right this friend says my wife's cousin passed away friday 42 year uh 42 years old fitness buff in exquisite physical and mental shape heart attack in driveway when going to get the her paper after arriving at the hospital, she was stable and doctors said she was going to be okay. Hours later, she passed away. Oh, that's horrible. It's so scary because you really don't know. You really don't know when it's gonna happen. What time do we have? Okay. All right, this one is a bit of a long one. So, all right. My husband and I both work in healthcare and refuse any cupcakes and have recommended all of our family to do the same. Some observed events include 40 male with flat back pain admitted to hospital received MRI day one with no significant findings, admitted for monitoring. Second day at hospital got his first cupcake after five more days still in hospital. His, his symptoms continue to worsen now, one week in hospital, another MRI, five days after the cupcake, shows a tumor on spine size of a baseball. 17-year-old female, one week after her cupcake, who upon standing would black out and lose consciousness. This persisted for months, still not normal but functional, and now on a list of medications. Mayo, cardiologists, neurologists, and uh, pediatricians found nothing. 20-year-old female in nursing school. Cupcake was required, and just days after Cupcake had a heart attack and died days later. Multiple patients ages 12 through 99 with strokes, heart attacks, heart bypasses, um, uh, pulmonary embolism, aka um, in the lung. Uh, I can't even pronounce that word. Petitia? Uh, I guess it's pooling of blood due to low uh, pellet, platelets, miscarriages, organ failures, tumors, and cancers. Guillain-Barre syndrome, partial and full paralysis, seizures, dementia, many autoimmune diseases and responses, MS, shingles, blindness, dizziness, BPV, vertigo, and many more. Holy crap. Many of the more severe cases listed resulted in death for the patient. Many others' cases listed will affect them the rest of their lives and require close monitoring. I could go on and on. Whatever you do, do not cave to the pressure. 
Advocate for awareness and choice for these experiments. Pray for those who receive and had complications as they are common and happening every day. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot. All right, this person says, my 32-year-old friend had a brain aneurysm two weeks after his first juice. He was first in line when it became available to younger people. He changed his profile pic with the template that this site made where you can be proud of when you drink the juice. He also took a pic of his juice card and posted it. He was proud that he was doing a good deed. Now his three girls, age eight, under, eight and under, don't have a dad anymore. Very heartbreaking. One of my daughter's friends who is 27 years old has thyroid cancer. And required surgery. A friend of mine who is 32 has just been diagnosed with thyroid cancer and will have uh, and will be having surgery. Both took the cupcake and one took multiple ones and I'm not sure about the other. Both are women. Anyone else heard of people getting this type of cancer from the USA? I don't know if you have that answer please put it down in the comments below. This person says my sister-in-law got two shots. Uh, right after her second, her rate was her heart rate was 255, pressure zero. Same with my wife's coworker. Now sister-in-law went from third. Needs heart OP now. Needs heart operation now. Mm. You know, reading all these a lot every day. It does, it does really get to you sometimes, but you just gotta keep going because you, you need to get the word out. And this is happening every single day. People are dropping like flies and I'm just sick and tired of just it happening. I'm pretty sure you guys are frustrated too. Um, especially when they come after the children. The day that they okayed it for six, like five years and five years and under and six month old babies, I literally cried. It's just disgusting what's happening now. Babies are dying. Oh, it's very hard. Um, try not to dwell on it too much, but please do, when you when you do have time, spread the word. People need help. Let's continue. My child friend that had two cups of coffee died in his sleep at 48 years old. Look, that was a very short report. This person says a friend's neighbor got up, got up in a tree to cut a branch today and didn't come back down. After a while, his wife went to see why he wasn't coming inside. She found him unresponsive up there. She called for help. By the time the ambulance came, he was long gone. At least one uh, dose of the cupcake, carrot, whatever you want to call it. All right. My nephew last year was forced uh, by his work to take it. In December, he got pneumonia. The hospital let him go home. Two weeks later, he went backwards and had the pneumonia. He was immediately um, in intubation. I apologize, got a little interrupted there. Let's continue. I'm gonna read that over again. My nephew last year was forced by his work to take it. In December, he got pneumonia. The hospital let him go home. Two weeks later, he went backwards. Pneumonia. He was immediately intubation and fought for five months. He asked uh, for end of end for looks like he misspelled something here. He asked for end of life support on his birthday, the thirty seventh birthday. I'm still angry and sad. Bus Hospital did the same to me in February. Only I wasn't jab jabbed. I believe that saved me. Doesn't help survivor guilt though. This girl says, I have received three cupcakes and have been having health issues, especially since the last one and didn't think of it being related until now. I received my third and a few days later was numb in the face and left side of my body. My doctor diagnosed me with Bell palsy and it had not gone away after months. I get dizzy upon standing. I bruise easier. I get sick more often. I have chest pain and SOB that never occurred before. My question is, is there anything I can do to save myself? I am um, not sure I'm not a doctor, but I have heard 
remedies as in the medication that has been banned, if you know what I'm talking about. It starts with the I and there's another one that starts with the H. Um, those I've heard um, when people, after they got the cupcakes, um, they were put on the medication that starts with the I. Um, it sounds like Vectin. Um, that it did help with like the seizures and the um, the symptoms of what the cupcake gave so that's actually something that should be studied and I believe there are, are scientists and doctors out there that are actually studying that and if you do go to the like CDC um, I think it's CDC NIH they do have studies of that one particular uh, drug that starts with the I and they have studies that it can actually help with you know certain cancers and parasites and all of that which makes a lot of sense when you know um, what's in the vials and Dr. Jane Ruby and on her show they're actually dipping into those vials and seeing that there are like parasites and weird stuff in there you need to check her out because it's it's like sci-fi shit but anyway um, it's very interesting I highly recommend going to her show this person says, my boyfriend passed away suddenly from pulmonary embolism on September 16th. He barely retired in June after serving his country for 29 years. He had one cupcake last October, followed by a staph infection two months later. He had no signs prior to his passing. He was 51 and healthy. The military forced him to take the cake or be discharged. Oh, so... And she goes on to say, I love you, Tony. For everyone who's responded, make sure you have the talk with your spouses and loved ones. Have a will in place. Know who to call when something happens like this. His family is forcing me to move on and move out of our home that, that is in his name quickly so they can take everything he had and we were planning right out from under me. Regardless of what I'm going through, none of you would want this to be a part of any experience you may have or others. Think of who will be left behind before they're left behind. Yeah, it's very true. This person says, I know two males, 40 through 50 years old, had the, um, sorry, wrong one. I think this one. Um, and a attack. Um, and both died um they ate two okay they ate two cupcakes friend developed ca cancer right after first cupcake relative miscarriage at six months after cupcake after three cupcakes another in hospital for the on-air breathing organ yes, so you're with lungs ventilation for days a uh, shell of former self. Another friend grew red bubbles on her legs and keeps getting sick. A uh, friend's relative had two cupcakes and said she was going to lay down because she didn't feel well and was found blue. She was found blue and dead. Um, none of these people connect the dots. But the most frightening thing, hap thing happened last weekend. I saw a neighbor who I think was a man in 30s. He just fell off his electric scooter in front of my house. It was horrific. Last I heard, he was in ICU with um, multiple in his brain that wouldn't stop. But I swear he was pretty much dead before he hit the ground. But his family came and everyone just counted it as a traffic accident. I tried to tell his family and fire and firemen what I saw. It was like talking to bricks. I feel you on that. I'm sure all of you watching have been in the same situation where you feel like you're talking to a wall and you can show all these people evidence and they just, I don't know what it is. It's really special. This person says, my brother and his wife got the cupcake one morning and started getting sick by that afternoon. He ended up in the hospital on a ventilator and two weeks later he was dead. Shortly thereafter, his wife woke up not knowing where she was or even who she was. Had to be placed in a memory center and rapidly deteriorated until her death a few months later. Both these people were extremely active and very healthy, except he had diabetes. We tried to talk them out of taking the cupcake, but because a doctor said they needed it, they took it. Now I want to end. Um, if 
again, if you still want more information on what's in the vials and what is happening, go to Dr. Jane Ruby. Um, she's doing a lot of stuff and do me a favor, help someone today. We need a little fucking sunshine in this world and a little more human kindness, which is very rare these days, but go out of your way and do something nice for somebody, even if it's just little things. But, uh, stay free. I'll see you in the next video, okay? Stay smiling. I know it's hard.